welcome to my youtube channel once again this is your girl from tasty temptation chef p this morning we're going to make some cocoa tea because i've met people that told me that they how to uh, that asked me actually how to make cocoa tea not from dominica not from saint lucia we are good at that but for the people that do not know how to make cocoa tea i'm going to show you how to make cocoa tea so here we have two cocoa sticks i'm going to put two cups of water no actually i'm going to put one cup put the cocoa stick in there because some people ask if i should they should grate it or not you can grate it but i put it like this and then it dilutes in the water as it boils i've already showed you how to do johnny cake so we are going to have cocoa tea and johnny cake today so i've already done my dough i'm just going to cut it up in small pieces let it rise up a little bit rise a little bit and after i'm going to fry it i don't drink cocoa tea so i wouldn't know how it tastes but for the people especially my daughter that drink it all the time tell me i do not know what i'm missing so i will not be drinking cocoa tea to taste to show you but she will be showing you I will not be showing nobody anything you have time to want to show her face so but she will taste it for you guys but she doesn't want to show her face she's too beautiful so she doesn't want to show her face so as you can see it's already beginning to boil and it is diluting in the water so you don't have to grate it it makes it faster for you if you're in a rush to grate it but it's just like adding work to on to yourself so here you see it's diluting so it's just two of us so i'm not going to make all the johnny cakes this is what i'm making and as you can see the cocoa tea the cocoa stick is boiling up itself diluting so as soon as i see that it's diluting off i'm going to add another cup of water let it boil up itself and after i show you the other stick and i have a secret for you i don't really drink cocoa tea. i don't know why i don't drink cocoa tea i think it's because of all the seeds and the, the, the and the little green things that i used to fill in my mouth and make it worse i get too much licks for drinking cocoa tea for my mother trying to make me drink cocoa tea so as you can see it has diluted nicely so there is no um cocoa sticks in there anymore it has diluted nicely so what i'm going to do now is to add another cup of water in there so it can do what it has to do another cup of water right so now that i have added the uh, other cup of water it's going to boil again so i'm going to put some vanilla essence in here when my mother in this cocoa stick most of the time people put those things in the cocoa stick but it's not everybody because i do not know but my mom when my mom make cocoa stick she put all the nine yards in it this is some nutmeg um this is cinnamon i don't know if i showed you already cinnamon my mom put the whole nine yards in the mix itself before she rolls her cocoa stick but i do not know if that one has which it came from dominica so most probably it has so i'm going to put in this thing now step by step so you can see half spoon of the almond essence the vanilla essence sorry and this is a pinch of nutmeg a spoon of this oh i don't know if you have noticed but did you see that i have new pots i told you i was going to get new pots I don't know if you have noticed what I have. Beautiful pots I bought myself. So yeah, you can put any milk, but I have this milk. But you can put any milk. You can put carnation milk, almond milk, whatever milk you choose. You can eat it. You put the amount of milk you desire. So I put like six or seven of this. I can put more but 
I'm not gonna drink it. So the person that's gonna drink it stopped me. Okay, so with your milk, um, okay, you can drink your cocos tea. Just make it, put your milk, put your taste of sweet in there, and you're done. But I grew up with my mother putting flour to thicken it, make it a little, or arrowroot. And as you grow older, you learn more things. So I learned to put custard to thicken it instead of flour, arrowroot. So if it doesn't have, and I don't think you want to use flour, those days are past days. We use custard. I'm using custard. I'm sure a lot of people doesn't know that they can use custard to thicken their Yeah, um, cocoa tea. Okay, so before I put the milk, I'm going to thicken the cocoa tea. In case it is a little too thick, then we have the milk to lighten it up a little bit. Now we're going to put in the custard. I'm not going to put all one time. See? So go find put all one time. And then I put my milk. Some people like it thick like that, some doesn't. My daughter likes it thick. Some doesn't like it thick. So I'm going to add a little more water in here. We have cocoa tea. You sweeten to your own taste. So she's going to sweeten to her own taste. There is, you see after I make the cocoa stick, all the grains in there, this is what I didn't like. So when you, you dish out your, your, you point out your tea in your cup, you strain it. Then you don't have those thick things. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is my sunflower johnny cake. Um, I did not show you because I've already showed you how to make johnny cake. But if you want me to show you how to make my sunflower johnny cake, Please leave a comment below and in my next video show I will make it. So you remember when I told you about the seeds, the grains and whatever left over in the cocoa tea. This is what we're talking about. So after you have put in your custard and then you put your milk, you leave it boiled up for a little while to boil the custard and then yeah. This is your cocoa tea. Without, without this is all the grains left in it. As you can see, this is all what left in it. So this couldn't pass through my mouth. And this is your cocoa tea. Johnny cakes in three different style. My daughter is going to show you, let you know how the cocoa tea tastes. This is such a beautiful little angel. She likes fry planting, so I did it for her. Along with her cocoa tea. <laughs> so sweet. Okay. You see how thick it is? This is for my baby. So Faith, tell them how the cocoa tea tastes. How does the cocoa tea taste, Faith? So thank you guys for following me. Thank you for the watching my video. Thank you so much for subscribing. And for those of you that have not subscribed, Please continue to subscribe, like, and share. Have a good one. Thank you.